Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for everything that you've done for the channel. It's greatly appreciated, more than you'll ever know. So, with that being said, before we get into this reading, I will be putting down my holy water. Mmm, I got the chills in here. It's so cold. This is great. I love it. All right. So, you know what time it is, don't you? Mmm. Tarot's noun session, the most honorable judge, T. T. Dong presiding. You can all keep rubbing my feet. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with, or whatever energy could be potentially approaching you. Like I always say, it could very well be your own energy. Hmm? Whatever the case is, we will get it, we will hit it, and then we will quit it together, my beautiful darling C.A. Mm. Show me the energy of the person I'll be you. Okay. Hello. Well, hello. Show me the energy of the person I'll be beautiful. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> Show me the energy. <laughs> oh, God. Show me the energy. Why am I laughing today so much? Why? I don't know what's going on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh good lord. Alright. Not a pentacle, seven wands, five pen. We've got the nine wands. The overall energy for the reading is five wands. There are gonna be some fights between the two of you. Or maybe this person's just fighting with themselves. I can see clearly that this person is, uh, there's, they're, they're kind of guarded here, all right? They're kind of guarded, and they're trying to protect themselves from something here, which is basically creating an obstacle, and here's your person. Woe is me, you know, I could... Go inside that church and I could go warm up, but I'm just going to sit outside the church and look at all the beautiful orbs of light from the window. Why am I doing this? It's raining outside. Oh, okay. So they're feeling lonely. Oh, yeah. Yes, Lou. Even Brother Lou is like, oh. Okay. Well. Pisces. They're kind of, uh, they're bothered about something here. I feel like this person's wounded here. And basically, this person's on the point of just giving up. Okay, so what is this person to the point of giving up on here? What are they about ready to give up on? Do, 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 do. Uh, well, when death comes in, you definitely got to give up. Yeah. So they're, so this person's like, oh, just about ready to give up. And then death's like, ha, 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 ha. They swoop in. It's like, oh, you thought you were ready. No, you are going to give up. You are not going to resist my change. Okay. So what's going on here with the death and the nine of wands? You need to be a little bit quicker about something here. What does this person need to be a little bit quicker about? They need to be a little bit quicker about coming towards you. That's what this is. So, yeah. Just when they were just like, oh, I'm just about ready to give up. Oh, death comes in here and says, you need to be quicker. And then all of a sudden, a storm comes in and literally, like, look. See? The storm's coming in and it's pushing this king of cups right towards you here, Pisces. Okay. So they're coming on in here real quick. Okay. So what's going to happen here when this person comes in all quick? It's likely to happen. <laughs> Bailiff. 
Well, what's likely to happen here is you may be a little bit guarded. Okay. Why is Pisces going to be a little bit guarded here? Why is Pisces going to be a little bit guarded here? Okay. Because you're just trying to basically maintain balance, okay? And you have mastered the art of patience. When you've mastered the art of patience, it allows you to, you know, you'll be there, you'll be okay, but you'll still be guarded. You'll be like, I'm cool, still guarded. But I'm open, okay? So you're kind of open still, but you're still guarded. But you have patience here, especially with yourself. When you have patience with yourself, you can have patience with just about anything. Trust me. Okay, so why is the Knight of Pentacles in this person's energy? I think I need a chicken strip. Okay, what's going on with the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups? This person, whoever this is, it's like they're trying to use some kind of critical thinking here. And it's like they're, it's persistent thoughts. They have these persistent thoughts and they're trying to use some kind of critical thinking to clear something up. So what are they trying to clear up here? Hopefully it's not an infection. Ah, 10 wands. Aha. Their problems, their burdens here. So they're like, okay, they're done. So this person's done. And what allows them to be done is when they come towards you here. So they come towards you, okay? And this whole time, this person's been going through all these thoughts here, over analyzing everything, trying to use the critical thinking, but then it's like, boom, okay, I'm done being confused, don't want to do it, don't want to deal with it, okay? So you got somebody here coming toward you. All right, chicken strip. I just called your person a chicken strip. Oh, God. So let's, why is this person, why is this person choosing to feel lonely? Why would they do this? They don't want to. So it's like, nope, I'm not choosing to feel lonely anymore. I want to redirect my focus here, my energy here. Eight wands to the eight of pentacles, okay? So they're redirecting their focus here. What are they redirecting their focus on? <laughs> what was that? Where did it go? Okay. They're moving out of that energy of, you know, let's have a pity party. So this is, this person's like, okay, having a pity party is not very conducive. It's not getting me anywhere. So pity party's over. I'm showing up for Pisces. I'm done thinking about things. Okay. So what is, the why, what are they so guarded about though? They're still guarded about, mm, boy, they're really guarded. What are they still really guarded though with? Come on. Oh, goodness. Okay. They're still guarded about w what they've been doing. Well, what the world has this person been doing? What have they been doing? What has this person been doing? Okay. They got a new kind of work opportunity. So, whoever this is isn't sharing it with you, all right? This is what this is. They got some kind of new work opportunity and they don't want it. Why would this person not want to share this work opportunity they got with Pisces? Why? Why would they not want to share this work opportunity? Why? Uh-oh. Because it's somebody. Uh, it's something from the past. What does this past energy represent to them? Something that's not good. 
Maybe they're having to help out an ex here. Maybe that is the maybe that is the work opportunity. Maybe they're having to help out their ex financially. I that's kind of what I'm getting. They're having to help out their ex financially because their ex kind of got into some kind of legal matter here, some trouble. And somehow or another, this person was part of that issue, but they didn't actually do it. The other person that they were with in the past actually did this, and then they got caught doing it, went to jail, all right, and they basically had to bail this person out of jail, and now this person is financially struggling, and now this person feels tied to it on a karmic level because they have a lot to lose if they don't help this other person from their past out. That was weird. My goodness. I never know what I'm going to get here on this table, Pisces. Not ever. All right. I'm going to pull romance and love messages. And then I'm going to eat a chicken strip. Chicken strip? What do you got to tell us? <laughs> okay. Romance. Romantic surprises are on the horizon, so be open to them. Okay. Boundaries. Love may challenge your boundaries. Protect them. Always. And butterfly. You will meet a new love interest at a party or a night out. Ugh. So, as always, I love you, my beautiful Pisces. Make sure you click that like button, comment, share, subscribe. Tarot's adjourned, chicken strip.